G'day team, we're looking at Google Drive again today and we're looking at the second scenario when files are moved out of shared folders. So it can be a little bit problematic and hard to track uh, and if you're someone who's got OCD type tendencies, you're perhaps someone who likes to keep a very uh, precise and well ordered file management system. So getting used to working with files in Google Drive can be a bit um, daunting. And the reason that is is because we will be sharing lots of folders, there'll be lots of files and there'll be a mixture of us being the owner, other people being owners, us editing, viewing, etc. And so trying to manage that by culling and deleting or removing files all the time can actually be really problematic for the other users in our organization. So I'm just going to show you how we can keep a track of that and if files are removed for you, how we might be able to um, restore them. So I'm going to go straight into my Google Drive here and I've got my folders I set up earlier. Um, for the scenario one demonstration, and I'm going to go in before I'm going to do anything. I'm going to show you this information panel on the right hand side of Google Drive. So up here in the corner, we can go and view details, and any folder that we click on, details will appear, and we've got this activity tab. We can look at the details about who created this, when it was created, etc. Okay, but the activity panel will give us some information as to what's been going on with that particular file or folder. So if I jump into the shared folder I shared with Chris earlier, and I've created a Google Doc called Example Google Doc to be moved. Now, in the activity panel and the information panel here, I've got the name of the folder, and I've got the activities. And as you can see from the previous demonstration, I'd move folders in and out to demonstrate that preventing um, changing access for editors. And I, it's got right here that I've created this item. If I was to move this document out of that folder and back into my drive so it's no longer shared with Chris, in a moment when I go back to that folder, it's going to tell me in just a moment that I've moved it to my drive and hopefully when I look on the shared with Chris, it's telling me that I've moved it out. Now what Chris would see, the corresponding view, would he would, he would see that the item has been moved out of that folder and that he might no longer have access to that. It's as simple as knowing who's been moving with moving files and folders around and then getting in contact with them to restore those. Uh, there are some more complicated processes when people start removing the folders with um, and people have files underneath but I'm going to cover that in scenario 5 and it's something a bit more um, complex and in-depth. But the great thing is, nothing's lost in Google Drive. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.